Remember Joe here. Um, just want to do a quick video on a few collection of my games, what I bought uh, today. Uh, these ones, um, the Mega Drive ones, because I bought Mega Drive and I've got Super Thunderblade playing at the moment on the console. Right, I have played it, but anyway, I managed to find Mrs. Pac Man. I don't know how rare this is, but uh, I do like playing Pac Man games. I got that cheap. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. I love playing Sonic, the very first game I ever played when I had a Mega Drive. Now people wanted probably stuff like Mortal Kombat and stuff on uh, when they had when they had like a Mega Drive, but sometimes they end up getting Sonic or maybe something like Mega Games, where you get three games on it and you end up looking and think only one game is the best and the other two on there are just are just total garbage. Anyway, so uh, um, so I found that classic game. I love Sonic, and um, I've got Sonic 2 as well here, but it's unboxed. Uh, I couldn't have really afford the uh, uh, the box one because I think it was uh, about eighteen pound. I think this one was more cheap. I think it cost me about this was about four quid. You know what I mean? So, Alternate Beast, classic game, very very classic game. I play it. Um, finished it as well. You collect like little balls from um, animals, like some, is it wolves or something? Like there's a t three wolves, like a white one. The wolves are like dogs or something. And uh, uh, and there's two like brown ones. And you, what you do is you you interact with them and then they change into a ball. And then you, when you collect that ball, you you get the, um, you start to, you turn into the beast after you've collected three. Classic game that, very classic game. If you haven't played it, I would recommend it. Get it played. It's on the Mega Drive collection on the PS4. Uh, if you're not, like I say, if you're not played it and finished it, I would recommend it. Like I've just said, Tailspin. Not really my cup of tea. You know what I mean? I would have been better. It would have been better if I had Ducktales. Uh, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. Tailspin's a classic game, but like I says, I got it because it was just one of the cheapest ones. Uh, after I bought, the, after I bought like these and these. Um, I just thought I'd just get it, but like I said, I don't really play, um, I might have a go, you know what I mean, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not a fanatic on, I'm not a fanatic on Tailspins, I'm more, I'm more into, like I say, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, um, I've got Street Fighter though, for the Super Nintendo, but like I say, it's a good game, on this one here, like I said, I've just shown you this one, there's a Mega Drive, Mega Games 1, 2 and 3, like the one that's in there, and you get three games like Super Monocro, Alien Storm and Super Thunderblade, what's playing on the telly now. Um, the second one, um, I haven't got it at the moment, I think it's maybe rare, or it might be quite expensive. That's my favourite one. Um, hang on and super hang on because um, I grew up with this one when I was in the arcades used to ride on a little motorbike and Eternal Champions fantastic game you've probably played this right oh sorry it, yeah Eternal Champions yeah fantastic game but the only downfall is I get really angry sometimes when I play this game because in a way it's like I play it and it just it starts ripping me off you know what I mean like the computer starts doing doing special moves and stuff and you're like when you're a beginner and you've never played these before or you've played a little bit of it and you've never finished it they can start being the AI can be sort of like in a way can, can con you and it starts when you're doing moves what you don't even know and you end up kicking your backside so it's a fantastic game don't get me wrong I do like it right but I won't play on it I won't play on it for a long time because you no know, for a fact I'll just get angry or I'll, I'll get frustrated with it, so I'm not going to play it. Um, um, Sonic 2, yeah, I do like Sonic games. Um, I don't know if, like I said, this is my this is my favourite one, and then Sonic 2, but I don't know which is my best one. Anyway, after that, I found uh, um, House and the Dead 2 and 3, but unfortunately, I haven't got a cover. I've only got the disc. Classic game. If you can find number one, what's on the Sega Saturn, you'd be very, very happy or on the PC, but I haven't got it at the moment. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. So it's a different game compared. It's Resident Evil 4, but it's a different cover. 
you know, a different cover game uh, compared to the American. I think they've got Leon on the front of the cover uh, and the guy with the chainsaw at the back of him. But yeah, uh, I do like playing. Uh, I do like playing Resident Evil Four. Fantastic! Sorry, I, I do like playing it. Fantastic game. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Classic. I love Mortal Kombat games, but like I said, when they start going into 3D, I start losing interest. But Mortal Kombat One, Two, and Three uh, are my favourites, and like I said, this one is. But like I said, this is a little bit more 3D. Uh, Namco. Namco Museum Collection. It's got uh, 14 games on it, like Gallagher. Um, and um, pa like Pac-Man stuff. There you go. It's got Dig Dug. It's got Gal Galaxian, Dig Dug, Mappy, Pack and Pal, QTQ, Super Pac-Man. What's that? Capitalist. Um, Pat Mania and Exeus or something. I can't really pronounce it, I do apologise, but yeah. 14 games, you can't beat it. Look, old school meets new school in gaming. Yeah! Anyway, after that, uh, um, after that, I, like I said, when I bought the Mega Drive, I found Resident Evil 2 and Stars. So it's Evil 3 Nemesis, very, very classic game, um, like I said, that, um, that cost me a penny or two of that, and so did that one. Very good classic games, they brought a remake out of that and they've remade that one, but I prefer the original one because in a way, you can't beat the original. When they start remaking these games, uh, they just sort of like, they can spoil it in some form. Uh, I do, like I said, I don't like it, I find, played it and finished it. You know what I mean? But like I says, I prefer the original. You know what I mean? I would give this a 10 out of 10 because of the um, the gameplay. And Resident Evil 2, I would give that, I don't know, probably about, on this one, I'd probably give it about 8 out of 10. Now, we all have different opinions about games and stuff, but like I says, I like the originals, but this one is, this one's my favourite one. Right? Compared to that one, but I do like them. Zelda, it's a promo disc and you get four classic games on it. You get, um, what is it? You get The Legend of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, The Legend of Zelda or Ocarina of Time, and The Legend of Zelda, what's that? Marge, uh, Marge's Mask now I've never played these I've never ever played any Zelda games I got this because like I say because it's a collector's and um, if you go to CX and buy this you'd be looking at about £42 um, I got this from CX but like I said same with these but I traded I traded games and stuff in to, to get all mine same like I said anything here I traded all my stuff in I traded any games I didn't want and I decided to collect these 18 wheeler classic game you know what I mean I loved that game you probably played it to death you know what I mean or not played it but if you haven't played it and you, and you, you haven't got it I'd recommend get out there and buy it and uh, get out there and buy it and uh, um, play it Spy Hunter now one definitely one of my uh, classic classic games I love Spy Hunter it's on the PlayStation 2 and it's on the GameCube uh, I'm not sure if it's any and on any other console Maybe possibly on the Wii, I don't know. Uh, uh, but I love Spanter. I prefer the arcade one, the original one from, um, I think, 1980s. But this one, this one is good anyway. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Now, there is a, there is a Rogue Squadron 1, 2 and 3. Now, I think the first one, Rogue Squadron, I think the, the first one came out on the N N64, if, if I'm correct. Maybe. And then there's this one, and then the number three came out on the on the GameCube too. I love these games, I like Star Wars, because I've got some Star Wars games on my uh, uh, on my PS4. You know what I mean? And plus on my uh, Super Nintendo as well. But yeah, very very good Star Wars. Uh, Rose Gordon. Quite an, it's not an easy game. It's quite hard if you if you don't know how to play it. But like I said, when you start playing, you can get the hang of it. 
you'll do great and fantastic. So yeah, so anyway, I got these games. Um, got these six games, and then I found this arcade one over here. Uh, this is an arcade cabinet. I'm not really, to take you truth, I'm not really, really up on this. I mean, to take you truth, I mean, it's okay. But the only downfall is the games. The games on the back. It says there's over 200 games, but there's not games like Double Dragon or Shinobi or Golden Axe. I think they look very, very cheap sort of games. Like, you know, the like they put on the, uh, the, 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 the other game consoles. I mean, I'm really sort of like, in a way, really upset because, you know, a lot of these games as well, I've just found out as well, is the repeated. It says there's 200 games on there, but most of them are all being repeated. You've got, like I said, you've got your little coin slot there, and then you've got your buttons and your screen. It's a... Um, where is it? How big is the screen, does it say on? There you are. Oh, sorry. Eight ways control joystick and a two function function buttons. Um, eight bit games. Two hundred built in games. Full color. Two point eight inch screen. Full sound effects and music. Requires three double A batteries. But batteries are not included. You have to go out and buy them. But. Like I said, I recommend these sort of things to people, but like I said, not this one, because in a way, I when I saw it, I thought it was uh, games what I wanted. Like, like I said, like Double Dragon 1, 2, uh, Shinobi, and Splatterhouse, and all these sort of games, but you, you're never going to get them sort of games on these machines unless unless you, uh, uh, you get the right ones. So anyway, guys, uh, subscribe to me and hit the like button on... Uh, um, any video you like and uh, oh, and I hope you like my videos and um, click the thumbs up like you should do and keep on gaming and continue playing these retro games like I says you've got to relive your childhood when you're playing these these ones anyway thanks very much we'll see you later